Hi, our senior design project is a drowsy driver detection system. The main function of our device is to detect and alert drowsiness in the driver. Um, we initially had target user of truck drivers since they drive for long periods of time, but this could be extended to almost anyone who has a license and is able, able to drive since many people do fall asleep at the wheel. So now let me show you the structure of our prototype. Here we have the main drive steering wheel and attached with it we have heart rate sensors. There's also a thermal IR sensor to detect temperature. On the back side of the wheel we have vibrating motors which were used to actually alert the driver of their drowsiness. This leads to our circuit that we built uh, with the MyRio device which will actually output a specific voltage and actually drive the motors to vibrate. It also is coupled with a external voltage source since we needed enough juice to power all the motors. And the final component is the program over here at the computer which we run that actually records all the data and outputs the signal. We will now simulate a drowser driver situation. We start the program and it will ask us to place our hands on the heart rate sensor for 30 seconds. As we can yeah, see, sorry. our driver now places his hands on the wheel as oh, it will okay. record his heart rate. Yeah, do you mind if the heart rate the recorded will be compared to subsequent yeah, heart rates to, to determine if there's an 8% drop in the driver's heart rate. This signifies drowsiness and is the first indication in the program that the, dr the driver might be drowsy. The second thing that will happen is the IR thermometer will be taking his temperature on his forehead. The program will then use his temperature to look for a 2 degree Fahrenheit drop which signifies drowsiness in the driver. Once both of these uh, sensors detect drowsiness, the program will then emit a current into the vibrating motors, which will then vibrate the wheel and signal to the driver he is drowsy. As we can see here, the program is now telling us we can remove our hands from the heart rate sensor and drive, drive how we please. For this demonstration, we will not put the, our hands back onto the heart rate sensor to show that there is a major change in heart rate and to signify that the driver is actually drowsy. As you can see, our driver is now sitting here without his hands on the sensor. In a normal situation, the driver would have his hands on the sensors during the 30 second time interval required for this program to run. After we get a heart rate reading that signals the driver is drowsy, we will then be looking for a change in temperature and our driver will have to place an object in front of his face to show this change. As you can see, it already detected the temperature drop of over 2 degrees Fahrenheit and we have two LEDs lighting up signaling that the driver is definitely drowsy since our program uses a two Boolean system where both of these have to go off in order to detect a drowsy driver. The next thing that will happen is we'll run our program to emit the current. As you can see, the steering wheel is now vibrating because the motors on the back have a current running through them. This is sufficient to alert the driver of his condition and wake him up during his drive. One part of the project that we're really proud of is getting the vibrating motors to work. This was difficult because we had to put them all in parallel and actually solder all the wires together so that they could be attached to the electrical circuit we built, allowing them to vibrate. This was also difficult because my Rio device did not output enough current to make them vibrate on their own, so we need to develop a circuit with an external power source to make them work. Well, this is our project. We hope you enjoyed it and drive safely.